Hey, this is Asha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. Today, I want to share with you how to read a stock chart. So if you're brand new to trading, investing, options, whatever, if you've never looked at a stock chart before, we're going to simplify it down for you. And I'm going to share you just like back in grade school, the simple and easy way to read a stock chart like a pro. So let's get started. All right, so here what we have is a Facebook kind of uh, chart. And when you're looking at Facebook, you're going to go and there's going to be a little abbreviation. This is Facebook because when you type it in, you want to buy shares of Facebook. This is called the ticker. Okay, so it's called the ticker symbol. There's other tickers like here's uh, McDonald's. Uh, here is Nike, NKE. They all have abbreviations. You could either look those up or you could go ahead and memorize them with time. As you look at stocks, you'll know what they are. They're just three to four characters. Now, when you look at a stock chart, there's kind of two simple lines you have to remember. And uh, sometimes you'll see the axis on the left. Sometimes you'll see the axis over here. So it just depends on the stock charting software that you have. In general, what you have is here's our timeline, just like if you're a video editor. So this might be the year 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Um, and that timeline represents the stock. So if the stock is here is $30 a share, $40, $50, $60 a share. Again, these numbers could be over on this side, 30, 40, 50. Uh, 60 70 dollars a share so in 2016 if let's say that stock was 32 dollars a share it might be over here uh, 2016 let's say february it might be over here uh, 34 dollars a share so all you do is you look at hey what time do i want to look at something and if you want to look at something in 2016 you just go oh okay well that's 2016 and if it was january february march april may june july august september october november so you pick your date uh, and your time, and then you look up where is the price. So if the price was over here, then you could go over and you could say, oh, that was around $50 a share at that time. And then what happens is, is with time, uh, the lines get connected and that's what kind of creates uh, a stock chart. So sometimes things go up, sometimes things go down and then they go back down and then come back up and so forth and so on. Now, these places where things change directions, these are called uh, swing points okay they're also known as support and resistance so if you've ever seen people draw lines kind of like uh this way you know hey is the stock coming in and then is it bouncing there uh that is also known as support points but when you look at these stock charts you know what happens sometimes is you're looking at this as a line chart sometimes you can look at things as like an area chart and this is filled in so it might be a little bit uh easier to spot those kinds of things so then it's all colored um, so this one is a yearly chart. So you'll also note that. So, okay, you're looking at it a year where every tick here pretty much represents, it could be a day, a month, or a year, depending on what you're looking at the chart. Now, some charts are more zoomed in. So I might be looking at just this quadrant and this area. And that might be like every bar or every dot would represent more along the lines of uh, kind of a zoomed in version. So if we're looking at just the same concept here uh, this might be the year let's say 2019 and now all of a sudden I might go January uh, February March April May June July and so forth so again the same concept applies it's just a little more zoomed in and then what you do is you start lining up the dots what the price was for that day okay so that's the basics of it if you're looking at candlesticks which uh, some of these charts we're going to go into in just a second have candlesticks. So these candles, all they represent is, uh, if you look at it, hey, stock price starts here. It wiggles throughout the day, could be through the week, through the month, depending on what this candle represents. Because this could be a one day candle, could be a one month candle, could be a one year candle, um, you know, could be one week candle. So it goes in here, it starts the day, week, month, whatever, wiggles around, and then it ends. Now, the easier way is to look at candles kind of like this for beginners because, hey, it starts here. This is called like OCHL, uh, open, high, low, close. So open, uh, low, high, close. Then you start the next day, boom, boom, boom. You move over, okay, it, it you know, probably is going to, open here wiggle around boom and go here so open is here then you got the low high and close 
And these little dot, these are the dots. So that's how it works when it comes to a stock chart. Um, so if we go in and we just kind of look at uh, a basic stock chart, here is a stock chart. So again, I'm looking at right here, here is my time frame. I could do it a minute. Every tick right here is a minute. Every tick is five minutes. Every tick is 10 minutes. I could do it a daily, two day, three day, weekly, monthly, quarterly. So if you're a long-term investor, you'll probably be looking at the monthly uh, or the weekly. So you could see each bar is a month. So that bar is uh, November, this bar is October, this bar is uh, September. So you can see we started September here, wiggled around and it closed a little bit higher. For some people, it's a lot easier to switch these um, settings. And let's just say we go ahead and uh, change the drawings, uh, edit chart properties. And when you look at the price style, we're using candlesticks, you could just do the line graph. This is what some people do. And you have like a line. That's why we talked about connecting. Uh, here's the open high low. I think that's easier to learn from. Um, so you can see there's different types of data. Here's just the bars, which are not really as useful. Here's an area. So you can see it's shaded in. And uh, here is kind of uh, Heiken Ashi. Really the most one that you use is either this one, open high low close, which I think is easier for beginners to learn. Um, and then you can go to candlesticks because it's easier to see. So if we start here and we start looking at this uh, chart, you can see here, okay, we opened right there, okay, we wiggled around, this was our high, and we closed here. Then again, we opened the next month, I think because each one is a month, wiggled around and boom, and we uh, got here to the lows, here to the highs, and closed right there. So that's really all it does and that's how it works. And uh, when you look at it kind of on a minute chart, what you'll be able to see actually is some of these things wiggle. So let me go in here on more of a live trading platform. We'll go into like a <coughs> one minute chart right here and you can see it kind of wiggling. And what you'll see is, hey, this stock now is kind of moving down, right? The last minute, what happened was, hey, we started that last minute here. We're wiggling, wiggling, and it's it's moving lower. So you can see there, it's moving lower. And that's the way it works. I could change this setting uh, to a candle. So now you can kind of see it wiggling around. And that's all it is. That's how you would really read a stock chart. So once this minute is complete, we'll see how it, it ends. Uh, then it'll go ahead and move to the kind of the next bar and the next tick. And that's what creates uh, the chart. You could also go ahead and do something like, you know, there's even less than a minute on some of these, I believe, like on a tick. Uh, let's just go into here, the ticks, and you'll be able to see that as well. So anyways, uh, there you go. You can see it move to the next one right here. It's wiggling, and uh, then it'll just continue moving forward. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is the zoomed in properties. As you've noticed, I've zoomed in a little bit here and there on these ticks. Uh, you could do that on any charting platform pretty much because right now I'm looking at it on a minute, minute or tick by tick basis. You could also go ahead and do that. Here is our monthly chart. And let's just hop back into the candlestick. There's the monthly chart. Here is the weekly chart. Here is the daily chart. And you know, you could zoom out and you'll notice here at the bottom, I see 2018, 2019, uh, 2017, 2016. Uh, but if I go to kind of the monthly chart, well, you could see time frame goes all the way to 80, 1985. And that's because each bar is a month. So you could pack more data on the bottom. And I hope this really makes a lot of sense for you guys, just at least as a starting point. So you could see what's going on. We talked about swing points earlier. Here's a swing point. Here's a swing point. Here's a swing point up high where things change direction. And these swing points are used for support and kind of resistance. And you'll note right here, uh, that's what you're kind of doing is you're, you're combining things. Hey, where's support? Where's resistance? They don't always match up, but you'll often see kind of breakouts in, in those uh, levels and areas. So the same thing here, you'll notice Here's kind of support where in resistance and that's where stocks kind of bounce. You'll also often see things uh, kind of on the bottom. Notice here, this is the volume. This is the amount of shares traded. Uh, so there's a lot of other indicators that could go down there, but typically the volume, which basically just tells you the strength, how many shares are being bought or sold. Obviously, just like when you push a gas pedal in a car, if you push it really hard, just like here, you buy a lot of shares, it's going to go up really fast. 
if you don't buy a lot or you don't push the gas pedal as strong, it's going to go slower. And that's kind of what that is used for. So anyways, that's kind of the basics to looking at a stock chart. There's other videos that I have as far as candlesticks. If you want to learn a lot more, definitely check out the tradersfly.com website. There's uh, tons of great uh, courses that I have available um, as far as trading goes. Um, and if you want to take a look at that, like understanding the stock market, how it works, or even technical analysis, it'll uh, route you guys over to our Rise to Learn site. And there's a ton of great uh, stock trading, including passive dividend investing courses out there that, hey, if you're brand new to trading, definitely check these courses out and help you become a better trader, investor, and look at things a little bit more informed in the stock market. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember to subscribe here on YouTube or join me on my newsletter list by clicking the link over here. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.